Hello my friends! Welcome to the 30 days rank post challenge, where I'm uploading a new ML guide for 30 days straight. We're on day 3 today. Here you have the full upload plan for the challenge. Today we're going to talk about 3 defensive items, Athena's shield, immortality and queen's wings. First, the 5 shoutouts of the day goes to Chris Tangorak, Lu Yi, Harith Izam, Corona B. Gun and Chris Lloyd. If you want to have the chance to get a shoutout in the next video, just write something nice in the comments. Last quick note, don't forget about the giveaway I'm running for the challenge. The rules and all information you need, you will find in the description box below. Now let's get into today's topic. First, we will go through the stats of Athena's shield. You get plus 900 HP, plus 62 magic defense and plus 2 health regeneration. This item has one effect. It's called shield and gets triggered when you take any magic damage. It reduces the magic damage taken by 25% for 5 seconds. This is including the magic damage that triggers the effect. The effect can be triggered again after leaving combat for 10 seconds. Let me show you how it works. I'm using Eudora and our favorite tank Layla for the demonstration. This is the damage Layla takes without the item equipped. And now together with the item. First, you of course receive less damage because of the magic defense you gain and secondly from the passive effect. Just be aware that smart players could try to trigger this effect before bursting you down. Also let me show you how to be able to trigger this effect again. You can see that the effect is available when this icon is present. Now after I receive magic damage, the effect is triggered. As you can see from the violet circle. And I have to leave any combat for 10 seconds to make it available again. After hiding in here for 10 seconds, it's back. If I would just stay in combat, the effect will not be available again until I leave it. So, who is this item for? This item can be used theoretically by any hero when you're playing against burst mages such as Eudora, Vale or Aurora. Or when playing against many heroes who deal magic damage. If you're playing against burst mages with a squishy hero, I would recommend to build this item as your defensive item. For most squishy heroes, it's a good idea to have at least one defensive item in the build. And this is your go-to item when you need magic defense. Tanks can already build this as their first core item if they are playing against many heroes with magic damage. Fighters can build it as their first or second defensive item, so usually the fifth or sixth item. You can combine Athena's shield with a new item Radiant Armor to further increase your magic defense. I will also explain this item in a couple of days, so make sure you're subscribed to not miss this video and all the other videos from the challenge. Now let's talk about immortality. We will again start with the stats. You get plus 800 HP and plus 40 physical defense. This item has one effect and it's called Immortal. And honestly, I think 99% of you already know this one. After you died, you will be resurrected after 2.5 seconds and get 20% of your HP back and a shield. The amount of shield you gain scales with your level and it lasts for 3 seconds. This item has a whopping 210 seconds cooldown. Again, I'm using Layla for the demonstration. As you can see, I got my HP back and a shield that disappears after 3 seconds. You can also see this little icon while the effect is on cooldown. Pretty self-explaining, right? But you know what? I've got a little ninja tip for you. While this effect is on cooldown, you can exchange this item for another one. This usually makes sense when you have already built your 6 items. The cooldown is still running down while you haven't equipped immortality. So for example, I could build Winter Trunction quickly to have the Frozen effect and can exchange this one with immortality again when the effect is available. If you have really quick hands, you can make the exchange while you are getting resurrected. For this, you should add the item you want to change as additional item in your build. Cool right? So who is this item for? It's basically for everyone who wants to have a second life. I wouldn't build this item maybe when you go against 3 or more magic damage based heroes. Then you should focus on magic defense items. Otherwise, you can go for it anytime. No combos, at least I couldn't think of one. Now, it's time for today's secret word to enter the giveaway another time. It is... Death. Again, all infos about the giveaway you find in the description. Now let's talk about the last item of today, Queen's Wings. We start again with the stats. You get plus 900 HP, plus 25 physical attack 
which makes it the only defensive item that increases your physical attack and 10% cooldown reduction. This item has one effect. It's called Demonize and gets triggered when your health goes below 40%. It reduces the damage taken by 20% and increases your spell then by 25%. This effect has a 60 seconds cooldown. I keep abusing my main tank hero. Before the passive gets triggered, I make 304 damage. And after the passive gets triggered, I only make 244 damage for the next 5 seconds. Also before it's triggered, I didn't have any spell vamp. And therefore also no regeneration when using a skill. But this changes now. The HP regeneration I get from kills comes from the assassin's emblem effect, killing spree by the way. I will talk soon about each emblem as well. So who is this item for? This item is made for skill based heroes who wants to benefit from the reduced damage and the 25% extra spell vamp. In general, it can be also used by heroes who greatly benefit from spell vamp and want to add an additional spell vamp item into their build. Heroes that rely on basic attacks on the other hand shouldn't buy this item. Before patch 1.5.88, this item gave 40% physical lifesteal and was very useful for this kind of heroes. But now with the change to spell vamp, this hero shouldn't buy this item anymore. To increase your survivability, you could include other spell vamp items into your build. Otherwise, this is usually an item you build in the late game and doesn't have any significant combos. Now, go and check out the whole playlist or if you are a daily viewer, see you tomorrow. Have a great day!